is falling down Healing rain is falling down Healing rain is falling down Healing rain is falling down Is falling down, yes, healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. Healing rain is falling down, yes, healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. Is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down, down. Yes, healing rain is falling down. Yes, healing rain is falling down. Healing rain. Is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Healing rain is falling down. Yes, healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Falling down, healing rain is falling. 
falling down Healing rain is falling down I'm not afraid I'm not afraid Blessings, good to be with you once again, be able to share the Word of God, today's devotional. I want us to look at very first that's familiar to a lot of us, but let's look at it again together. In 1 Thessalonians 5, starting with verse 17, and the text says here, Rejoice always, number one, pray without ceasing. And everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophecy. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. Abstain from what is every form of evil. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. And then Paul would be closing out his letter by saying, Brethren, pray for us. A great thing that's happening in, even in a time of crisis, a time that's just so way out of place for all of us and out of order. And that is like never before, we have been praying each and every day. Even us as a church, Calvary Chapel, Roma Land, every night we get on Zoom each and every day and we pray for one another and we pray for our country. We pray that this virus would just go away and that God would heal our land and that we would humble ourselves and that we would seek his face and turn from our wicked ways. It's causing us all to really look within ourselves as we're being away from each other, as we're being in our own homes and we're really seeing who we really are and what we're all about. And the wonderful thing is that the word of God comforts us. It always comforts me. And I continue to rejoice as I spend time with the Lord. And as I get with you on, on either text messaging or on FaceTime or on, on Zoom, I I'm continue to be blessed and stirred, but also being challenged with myself. Asking the Lord, uh, what is it that you want to speak to me about? And how do you want to speak to me? I notice here that Paul would say that may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blamelessly at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful. And God will be faithful as long as we continue to seek his face. I encourage you to seek the Lord's face. Say hi to my wife. God bless you, church.